We've also seen major flooding in places like Collier County, Sanibel, Fort Myers Beach. Uh, you're also seeing inland flooding because of the inundation that you're seeing. So some of the counties in the interior of the state uh, are seeing uh, major water events as well. know that there are folks who are in the really high risk zone A evacuation zones uh, who did not evacuate. Uh, some have called in and those people are being uh, logged and there will be a response, uh, but it's likely going to take uh, a little time for this storm to move forward so that it's safe for the first responders uh, to be able to do. Are you guys okay? Um, now we have a truck issue and the guys are pushing the truck out of the bay. Because why, Chief? Uh, it seemed like the truck was going to catch on fire. It was smoking and uh, we didn't want the station to burn down. We're now unloading the truck. With water this high, you know, these operations may need to be waterborne operations. Now, there are some where you're going to need to use the water to get to some of the barrier islands anyways. If you look at, like, Collier County, I mean, downtown Naples is flooded. That is some major gusts right there. I'm going to guess that was the 155 variety coming through. See the wind starting to take down a few big trees here across the road. Uh, I believe the corner of the eye is just coming over us and we hopefully we'll get in the center of the eye here pretty quick and see what happens with the south southeast breeze and see if it fills us up with water I sure hope not we came out on a week ago Friday had a lovely holiday um, but then we were um, evacuated from the uh, beach area unfortunately all the hotels are full or closed so it looks as though we're going to be in one of the shelters. There are crews that are still working outside of southwest Florida, but just understand uh, that number is going to grow. You're going to see more power outages as this storm moves through the center part of our state and before it exits into the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic coast. Yeah, and so just going to some of the information from the US Weather Agency at the moment to give you an indication of the intensity of this system that is hitting the Florida Peninsula right now. It crossed the coast several hours ago and it's, and it's kind of now midway across the Florida Peninsula, possibly heading further north towards Orlando and Daytona Beach. But the US Weather Agency is describing what it says is this catastrophic storm surge inundation of 12 to 18 feet so that's kind of like three to five and a half meters above ground level is along with destructive waves is ongoing along the southwest florida coastline uh, and it's describes it from englewood to bonita beach including charlotte harbor so that's, it's basically about a, a 60 kilometer stretch of that southwest florida coast is going through this storm surge at the moment and there have been some pretty amazing pictures of water raging through communities as this storm surge comes through. So it's uh, just past, uh, headed towards nine o'clock I think in Florida now. Um, so we're going to find out over, see, we'll see more vision coming in over the next several hours. Uh, about just how damaging uh, this storm has been and will continue to be as it heads up the Florida Peninsula, possibly out into the Atlantic, but again expected to affect other US states further north over the coming days.